que te pegó Mateo.
Jimmy. Good evening, good evening. Austin. Okay, good evening, my teacher. How are you? I am thank you here in my home. Good, good, good. So you are with your family? Yes. When uh, come uh, here, why is my family? Good, with your family. Your wife and your daughter. Yes, my, wa my wife and my daughter. Good. Three people in your family. Yes, three people in my home, in my family. Okay. okay. You mentioned that you have more children. Yes, I have uh, more children. Uh, one man and two uh, women. Okay, one man and two women. What are the ages? Uh, excuse me, what are? What are the ages? So lo voy a poner ahí en el chat. Okay. Ages. What's the meaning of ages? Uh, ages, what say ages? Ages, what ages? Okay, in Spanish ages, Edades. Ah, okay, okay, yes. Uh, yes, the ages of my son, 
my daughter have uh, my daughter is years. my daughter is my daughter is a uh, 30 year 30 yes 30 okay 30 year. and your and son my, uh yeah my, my son have uh, my 28. son is my son is okay okay my son is 28 year and the other and the other have uh, the other is other other his other she other she okay the other is the other is a uh, woman okay but what age what age uh, yes yes uh, have uh, 55 55 but the other kid, your other kid. Yes. Otro hijo. Sí, hija. este, uh -huh. is a daughter. Okay, how old is she? Why? What? How old is she? ¿Qué edad tiene ella? Uh, 25 years. 25. 25 okay. years. Good. Yeah. ¿Puede ver la pregunta que tengo en el chat, Osmin? Uh, now, one moment, please. Yeah. ¿Qué dice ahí? How old are you? How old yes. are you? How, how old are you? Ajá. ¿Qué estoy preguntando ahí? ¿Cómo? Eh, entiendo cómo está. ¿Qué edad, usted? ¿Qué edad tiene usted? Ah, ok. Entonces, old es edad. How old are you? Okay. No tiene traducción eh. literal, sino que lo que le están preguntando es su edad. ¿Qué edad tiene usted? How old are you? How are you? Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I have. I uh, am. I am. I, I am. Okay. Yes, I am uh, 57. You are 57. Yeah. Okay. Good. Sí, good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Hello, okay. Rose and Louis. Good evening, C. Hi, good, good evening. evening. How are you? Why, thank you. Good, good. Did you have a nice day? Yes. What nice? Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Very good. All right. What time is it? 8.09. 8.09. Good. And what is the date? February 11th. February 11th. Yeah, February 11th. In the year 2021. 2021. 2021 or 2021. Okay. All right. It's good to have you back. Um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Rose and Osman. Louis was on vacation. <laughs> no, I was working. Were you working? <laughs> I was making a maintenance to the vivienda, and because it's a maintenance, you have to do it. Surveillance system. Oh, okay. So you have to do that after hours. You can do that when in, in normal hours. Okay. So you have to do it when the office is empty. Yes, because they had to have the surveillance cameras up when the branches are open. Okay. Uh, so the maintenance has to, has to be in the in after hours. Okay, maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, let, let me write it for you. So the first E is quiet. So you said maintenance, two syllables. Uh, maintenance. Yes. Uh, maintenance. maintenance. Okay. Good. Very good. All right. So it's February 11th, 2021. Welcome back. Uh, do you guys remember what we spoke about yesterday? About question with what time? Uh-huh. Yes. We were discussing yeah. the time. Uh -huh, the time was okay. this, this was the last 
the last one. Mm. Topic. Topic. Right. Yes. So yes, uh, the time. Um, uh -huh. Go ahead. How to use uh, simple present in information question. Right. Right. How do you say, por qué dice usted eso? Why do you say, do you that? say that? Why do you say that? How do you say, por qué trabaja los domingos? Why, Why do you work, do you on, work Sundays? on Sundays? Why do you work on Sundays? How do you say, por qué ella viene seguido? Why, Why does she come so many does times? Comes Often or frequent. Often. Often. Uh -huh. Often and or frequent. And if you say too many times, it's correct? Yeah, you can say that, but the, the, the message will be a little bit different. ¿Por qué viene ella tantas veces? Yeah, but it's, the message is the same. The structure is different. So why does he come often or what is the other word? Frequent. Uh, frequent, uh, often yeah. or frequent. Yeah, okay. Okay, any questions about WH questions plus do and does? No. no. All right. No. So, how many half hours are there in one hour? Two. Two. Two is correct. What is the expression we use cuando se marca la primera media hora? Half an hour? Not exactly. For example, how do you say? This time, what time is it? 12.20. 12.20. What is the other form? 20 past 12. 20 past 12. Or? 20, be, no, 10 before. No, uh, I don't know. 20. <laughs> no. Mm. So you can say Let me see. 20 40 before 12. 1. Uh-uh. 20 past 12 or 20 after 12? Ah. Past yes. After. yes. Pero esas dos expresiones. Because it's the first. The first half, half hour. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. The first half hour. I remember. I remember. Okay. Now. What Teacher, time? sorry. How, yeah. How, how do you spell frequently? How, uh, right now. Frequently. Frequently. So the question was, why does she come frequently, right? Yes. Yeah, why does she come frequently? Why does she come frequently, right? Exactly. Yes. Uh. Any other questions? No. Okay. Oh, how do you use after? It's, uh, what it's do you mean? after the, the last sentence that we were practicing. What? You, you, what? You, you can say 12, 20, right? Oh, or you can say 20 okay. past 12. Or, or 20, 20 after, after 12. 12. Ah, okay. But you use those two expressions only, how do you say agujas del reloj? Needles. <laughs> hands of time. Las manos del tiempo. Hands of time. So when the minute, hand of time, is in the first half hour. Cuando la aguja que marca los minutos está en la primera media hora, you have to say past and after. Only, only in that occasion. Only in that occasion. Now, how do you say la 12 y 35 in English? Um, 12.36. Okay, 12.35. That is the most common way. 1235, 140, 115, 120, 1155. Now, what is the other form? Could be teacher 35 before one. Excellent. 25 before one. What is a synonym of before in this case? Before. 25 to one. So 12.35, yes, Rosalina? Yes, because it's the second half. It's the, the second, second half hour. hour. Exactly. No half 
25 before one or 25 to one? Questions. Y una vez más, before and to, solamente aplica con la segunda media hora. How do you say restar? Uh, minus. Yes. How do you say you have to minus? You have to rest. You have to rest. Yes. Uh -huh. Right. So there you have it. What is another form to say 30 minutes? Half hour. Half hour. Half an hour. What is another form to say 15 minutes? Quarter. A quarter. Quarter. A quarter. A quarter. A quarter. Yes. How do you say la una y treinta? One thirty. One thirty. Uh huh. And the other one? One. Uh uh. No. Thirty after one. Thirty after okay. one. What is yeah. another form to say? Uh, 30. Uh, half. half past one. Okay. Half past one. So remember, you can, how do you say medidas in English? Measurements. Measure. 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 One and a half. Pero no va a estar diciendo la hora, sino que va a estar dando una media. <laughs> Roosters at this time? In my home, rooster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's common, like five. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> 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 we had to go For to sleep. We're all over sleep. Yeah. Roosters are cool. I like to hear natural sounds. Birds, roosters, uh, anything, any animals except dogs and cats at 11 p.m. That's, that interrupts your sleep. Anyways, um, any questions on your time? When do we say o'clock? When is one zero zero? Exact hours. Exact hours, uh -huh. Exact hours, exactly. One o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock. You cannot say 5.20 o'clock or 1.40 o'clock. That's not possible. That's not good. Um, how do you say cabalitos? Alguna cabales. Yo sé que han oído esta palabra antes. Sharp. Sharp. Excellent. Yeah. Sharp. One sharp. Yeah. One o'clock sharp. Okay. 1.20 sharp. Like very exact. What else is sharp? What is the other meaning of sharp? So you're cutting, you're using a knife, you're cutting tomatoes and suddenly you cut yourself. This knife is sharp. This knife is sharp. Yeah, filoso, con filo. Right, okay. Y también dijimos, si marcaba entre el minuto 1 y el 9, ¿cómo íbamos a decir esa palabra y? Oh, oh. oh very good. Oh. So, si estamos diciendo que son las 4 y 7, how do you say that? 407. No. 407. Exactly. So, cada vez que está marcando entre el minuto 1 y el 9, ese cero que va en medio, usted va a decir O. Oh. O. Oh. Questions or comments? Uh, no. All right. So, let me show you this. Mm -hmm. Where is this? Right here. Okay, can you see the times? Can you see the clocks? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is what we will do. Van a trabajar en pareja. Y en pareja van a ir diciendo 
the three different forms that we have to the time in English, exactly. So let me make the rooms. And here we go. Hello, Antonia. Hello. How are you today? Good. How was your day? Mm. How was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué significa yeah. how? Mm, ¿Qué día eso? Ah, ah, yeah. ahorita se lo escribo en el chat. Uh, dice, how, how, how was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué le pregunto ahí? ¿Qué significa how? Si yo le digo, how are you? ¿Qué le estoy diciendo ahí? ¿Cómo, cómo estás? Tú? Ajá, entonces, ¿qué significará solamente how? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? What es la parte del tiempo pasado del verbo to be? Entonces, ¿cómo mm. será? How was it? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? ¿Cómo, yes, sir. ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello, teacher. I have a problem. I lost my signal uh, Wi-Fi. Oh, <laughs> give me a second. Voy a asignar. I, I, I was with, I was with uh, Luis. Luis, ok. Right now. Ahorita okay, lo estoy thank reenviando. Check.
fourth one. No, the the fourth one, yeah. Five. The fourth one. Sorry. No, the the uh, the fourth one is twelve, ten. Oh, twelve. Twelve, 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 twelve. Uh, the which one? one? Which one? Is is the four? Is above the first one. Oh man, sorry. <laughs> I I see it there, right there. <laughs> ah no, it's, it's in the left. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell me. <laughs> okay. Where, where this is the, in the normal way, so to speak. Is twelve ten. Twelve ten. Okay. But you can say uh, ten ten past ten, twelve, right? Ah, uh -huh, correct. Uh -huh, correct. Ten or 12. ten after twelve. Ten after. Teacher. Hello, hello. Teacher, we invented yeah. the, the hours because we didn't see the, the watches. Oh, give me a second. Yes. Ahí completó la imagen. Oh, what's up? Yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Otra vez, if you want to catch them. Okay, yes. Yeah, here. Okay. Ah. We are inventing. Good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, we are inventing. We have nine fifteen. Okay. Uh, when you say that you are creating a story, <laughs> inventing, you say making up. Oh yeah, making up. Making up. So, oh, okay. for example, no <laughs> imagine that, that I go out with my friends, and I'm coming home at one in the morning, and I said, "Oh my goodness, I have to make up a story." Ah, okay. Making up. Yeah, make up. Okay. Como, como maquillaje, but it's separated. Uh huh. Make up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay. So you said we're making up. We don't have the image, so we're making up. That's good. Ah, okay. No inventing. <laughs> Invention is like Benjamin Franklin. Ah, okay. And, and, okay. and people like that. Ah, okay. Another brains. <laughs> good. Good. Very good.
Hello, hello. Hello, mister. How are you? I'm doing okay. What about you guys? In my case, a little so tired, but I always have been. <laughs> okay, I'm back, I'm back. That's, okay. that's the attitude. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Yes, sir. We had a little question. Ask me. What happened with the clot and the end in the first file? The exotic clock. We see. didn't know what is the clock in this case. Which one? The last one in the first uh, in the first oh, it's, file. It's, it's up in the right. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, you're talking about this one here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, 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 that one. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's like a painting. <laughs> okay. how, how do you say remolino? Maze. Twist. We can Maze. say twister, teacher. Well, oh, it depends. If it's un remolino de los que se hacen así, uh, it's um, what's the one you said, uh, Rick? Twister. Okay, twister. It's not twister. It's a tor tornado. Ah, a tornado. Oh, okay. Because. This clock looks like a remolino. How do you say that? Yeah, maze. Ma How maze. do you spell that? M A Z E. Z E, ah. maze. Like maze. the Albania maze. But maze is not like a cave? No. No. Maze has two meanings. A pepper teacher. spray. Pepper spray. The pepper one spray. that the, the police department uses. Uh huh. That's one. And also, laberinto. Maze. Maze is pepper oh. spray. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. So cops use maze. That means police usan eh, ex, no. ¿Cómo se dice? Gas pimienta. Gas pimienta. Uh -huh. Right. Maze. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me visit the other room. Okay. Hello. 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 Yes. How are you? Fine. Okay. How much did you say? Three. Three what? Okay. Yeah, three different forms. Three okay. different forms. Ah, but... For three example. Forms. Okay, for have... example. Uh-huh. You say it's 410, right? That's what? Four... Yes. 10 past four, 10 after four. So those are the three forms. Got it? Four, 10, 10 past four, 10 after four. Okay. Those are the three forms. Okay. For example, uh, uh, <laughs> this hour, uh, 12.09. Okay, nine past no, 12. No, no, but, sorry, 12. Oh, eight. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is one. Eight past 12 or eight after 12? You can say 12 or eight. Uh-huh. Eight past 12 uh -huh. or eight and after 12. After, okay. Yeah, okay. three forms. Okay. It's good. Yes. And, and for the, the another uh, 150. Uh -huh. We have 50 before one. Uh-uh. No. Okay. Ah, okay. Let me see it. Okay. Ah, one. Okay. Uh huh. One fifty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué media hora está marcando? The first or the second? Ah, the, the second. second. It's the so, second. Uh huh. So it's one fifty. Esa es la primera opción. What is the other option? Ah, okay. One fifty. Okay. Uh huh. Ten to two. Exactly. Uh huh. Ten to two. Or fifty before one. Uh huh. Why? Because it's the second. Okay. Okay. One fifty. That's the yeah. first option. One fifty. Yeah. Okay. One fifty. So okay. Uh, Rose. Ten to two. Ten to two. Exactly. It sounds, it sounds okay. right. Or mm -hmm. what is another? What is a synonym of two? Ten before two. Before. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, 10 before 2, 10 before 2, mm -hmm. 10 before 2, ah, okay, yeah. One yes. Before two. yes, 10, 10 antes de la 2, exactly, 
Uh -huh. But in Spanish we say 10 a las 2. Yes, uh -huh. para las 2. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. So we don't use exactly uh, yeah. the same vocabulary. Yeah. So that, that's the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Star is when is exact. The oh. exact hour. Oh, yeah. La hora exacta. Yeah. You can say 12 o'clock or 12 sharp. Exactly. Okay. You can say 120 sharp, 530 sharp. Ah, you can use with uh, with the minutes. Hour and minutes, so yes. Only, oh, oh. Uh -uh, not only for exact hours. Ah, okay. So you, mm -hmm. when you say sharp, you have to um, make sure that you are emphasizing uh, with the exact hour. And ah, the okay. hour can include minutes too. Okay, okay. Right. Because I suppose that only with o o no, no, you can say oh, okay. two o'clock sharp, but you can oh, say okay. two twenty sharp. Uh, one thirty sharp. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Me voy a levantar un moment. Okay. 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 Ah, vaya. Entonces el último. Usemos ese que dice las seis y treinta y cinco. Seis treinta y cinco. 635. Entonces, aquí, 635. 635. 635. 635. is uh, 35 before no mm, no eh, quiero ver sería mm. la segunda sería en español podemos decir 25 para las dos, no, es raro que digamos, 25 sí, sí. para las 7. Sí, se puede. Solemos, pero solemos decir más un cuarto para las 7, 10 mm -hmm. para las 7, no 25 para las 7. Decimos 6 y 35. Pues no pudiéramos decir este, eh, certified before. Ajá, certified before 6, I think. Ajá. Ok, so li listen to this. Yeah. Vaya, let me see. It's okay. What time is it there? 2:25. 25. Eso es lo más yeah. común y uh -huh. lo puede oír, usted lo puede practicar. Yeah. But your mission, su misión mm -hmm. es porque no todo el mundo le tiene que decir 2:25. Okay. Alguien puede decir 25 past two. Or 25. Okay. Um, Before two. Past two. Ah, past, past two. Okay. Past or after. So, bien. Eh, okay. Past or after. 25. Puede decir 25 past two or 25 two or after, after two. After two. Okay. Only mm -hmm. that. Okay. Porque la que marca los minutos está en la primera media hora. Okay. It's still in the first half hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no puede decir to ni before, porque esas otras dos son exclusivas para la segunda. Para la segunda, correcto. Entonces, usted no va a decir 35 a las 3. Usted va a decir la ah, Okay. Que... So. But in, in our case, uh, we choose 635. Okay. The 635. First, the... Yes, 635 is the one. 635. Yeah, 635. Okay. What is the this other is option? One. What is the other option? 35 before 6. Ah, uh ah. -uh. No. Uh -uh. Okay. Como ya marca la segunda media hora, tiene que 25 hacer before. 7. Before 7. Uh -huh. 25 before. Because in Spanish, I don't say 25 para las 7. Sí, decimos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Nunca me ha tocado decir tantos minutos. Siempre he dicho 
un cuarto, diez, cinco, okay. pero no twenty five. Okay. <laughs> Because so, that, but that reason I was dubbing. <laughs> yeah. So this is the thing. Cuando la que marca los minutos okay. ya está en la segunda media hora, olvídese de decir past y after. Okay. La ley tiene que ocupar before, before and two. Yes. Yeah, before and two. Entonces tiene que contar cuántos minutos hacen falta para la segunda, para la siguiente. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. So, 25. 25 before. 7. 7. Ok. Uh -huh. 25. 25. Uh -huh. Okay, when you use before, I have to say the rest. Okay. Yes, so 25 I... before 7 or 25 Fourth. to 7? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. 25 before or 25 to? Exactly. Ah, okay. okay. Exactly. That's so difficult. <laughs> it, it, it's not difficult, it only takes practice. Yes. It takes okay. practice. Rick, Rick. Hello, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Let me see this here. Oh, everybody's coming back in 30 seconds. Okay, teacher. So, <laughs> faster than 30, actually. <laughs> yeah. How was your day, teacher? It was good. I went to... Where did I go today? <laughs> I was in San, <laughs> in San Salvador in the morning. Uh, then I taught a class from 10 to 12. And uh, at 12 noon, I went to Price Mart. And oh, really? then I returned to the office. Oh, you yeah. had a busy day, teacher? <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, a little bit busy. So, so I, I returned to my house early before oh. it was like 4 p.m. when I was here. Oh. That's uh, good, teacher. Teacher, how, how do you say tabla de multiplicar? Yeah. Uh, the multiplication board. Multiplication board, okay. Yeah. Yep. And how do you say nueve por nueve? Nine times nine. Nine yeah. times nine, or you can say nine multiplied by nine. So the two nine. options are good. Okay. How do you spell, um, how do you say tala de multiplicar? How do you spell it? Okay, multiplication. Multiplication, multiplication table. Board. 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 Ah, board. Yeah, multiplication board. Multiplication board, okay. So if you want to multiply, you need to say times or multiply by. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Nine times nine, or nine multiplied nine. Nine multiplied by nine. Ah, by, okay, okay. Yes. Nine. All right. Any other questions or by comments, nine. people? No. All <coughs> right, so let me see this here. So, what time is it in the first clock? Oh, man. 12 before 2. 
Okay, let me check. Yes. Okay, 12 before 2. Another option? 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Another option? 250. 250. Uh -uh. 150. 150. Oh, okay. 150. Good, very good. What time is it in the second clock? Which one is the second clock for you? Clock? Um, el que marca las tres. Three o'clock. Uh, three o'clock sharp. Okay, three o'clock sharp. Okay. You can say three o'clock. No. No. Three o'clock. Three o'clock, three, three sharp. Yeah, or three o'clock okay. sharp. Yeah. Three o'clock sharp, okay. Okay, how do you say las cinco y treinta y cinco? Five five. 25 before 6. Or 25 before 6. Or 25 to, 25 to 6. Exactly. Exactly. So 535, 25 to 6, or 25 before 6. Before 6. All right. Osmin, can you hear me? Yes, we can part. How do you say la doce y ocho in English? Eh, doce y ocho in English, uh, twelve or eight. Twelve or eight, very good. Twelve eight. or eight. Porque está antes del nueve o la diez. Exactly. Okay, okay twelve or eight. Uh, what is another form? Eight after twelve. Eight after twelve. Eight past twelve. Yes. All right. Any questions about the time? Antonia, can you hear me? Hola. Okay. How do you say las diez y diez in English? Mm, ten after ten. Ten after ten. Excellent. What is a synonym of after? Past. Past, excellent. 10 past 10, 10 after 10. And what is the easiest form? La forma más fácil? 10, 10. 10, 10. Exactly, 10, 10. It sounds uh, fun, 10, 10. Yeah, yeah, it sounds funny, 10, 10. 10, 10. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, sir. When I say 10, 10, no is necessary put an. No, no, you, you, don't, okay. you don't need that word. You don't need that word. Okay. So remember, we say la una y veinte, la una y diez, but that e does not exist in English. Solo existe si está marcando el minuto uno, entre el minuto uno y el nueve, y lo vamos a representar con o. Oh, okay. 107, 108. Okay, well, yeah. 3 15, can I say 3.15? 3.15, right. 3 quarter. Uh, a quarter past 3. Ah, a quarter past 3, okay. Or a quarter well, after 3. After 3, okay. Yes. How do you spell quarter? Quarter, how do you spell quarter? Anybody? Q. Q. U. 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 A. A R T. E-R. Excellent. Quarter. 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 Remember that the British. Yes, no, quarter. No pronunciation. Quarter. 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 Yeah, I need some water. Yeah. Glass of water. Teacher. Yeah. Officer. Mm -hmm. Doctor. Yeah. Officer. Yeah, they don't they don't <laughs> pronounce letter R. R. Yes, what's that? Okay. All right. Any questions about the time, people? Cada cuánto decimos sí. la hora de algo, de algún evento, o simplemente que le preguntan, disculpe, ¿qué horas tiene? When we have to do something at, at a time. 
Yes. Are you drinking, uh, Ron? No, you know, I have a, uh, I have a stomach cake, but it's oh, not okay. a stomach cake that I need to go to the bathroom. I just feel pain. Oh, so because I'm just preparing um, baking soda. Remember baking soda? Uh -huh. yeah. Baking soda. Agua mineral? Bicarbonato. Bicarbonato. Ah, baking uh, soda, yeah. yeah. Plus tangerine. What is tangerine? Uh, no, I don't know. Mandarinas? Mandarina. Mandarina, right. So she's making a combination of baking soda with, uh, with tangerine, but the taste is a little bit strange. Oh, because you did a face like a strong, strong drink, like vodka or something. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe my stomach is trying Tomo to... Tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> you know, even Fridays, I have to behave because I work Saturday morning, you know, um, and it's okay. a face-to-face -face, uh, class. So okay. If I plan to do something, it has to be... You have to look good. <laughs> right, I have to look good and brilliant. You have to look professional. Right. Yeah, look professional with a, with a funny smell. You know? <laughs> yeah. So I'll, I'll try to drink this. I, I, don't, I don't promise you anything. Do it so much. Do you eat so much? Uh, I, you know, I had a regular lunch, but when I came, I was very thirsty. So I drank fresco tamarindo, then I drank water, then I drank a glass of Pepsi. And, and, and those soft drinks, they never get me sick. But I guess the combination, you know, my yeah. reacted to that combination. So, and I'm not even hungry. And I usually eat before I start my classes, but I'm not hungry right now. So I just hope that it's something temporary. Okay. I hope. Anyways. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about the time? ¿Qué tan seguido le preguntan la hora? ¿Qué tan seguido usted habla de un evento y un horario? So, the same right. frequency, la misma frecuencia con la cual usted dice la hora en español, English is exactly the same. What time is the news? Oh, eight o'clock. What time do you start working? Seven o'clock. What time do you finish working? 5 p.m. So we're always talking about time. Siempre estamos hablando acerca de, de, de las horas. Questions or comments? So let me see this here. So les voy a poner un audio donde hablan de ciertos eventos, dicen el evento, incluyendo el horario. Got it? Do you have pen and paper? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Please let me know if you hear. Check in. Give me a second. Give me a second. Page 38. Exercise 2. Can you hear it? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, here we go. Lo voy a poner en silencio para que no hayan instrucciones. Obstrucciones, distractions. What we have to do? Uh, copy the event plus the time. Oh. What time is the concert? Oh, the concert is at 2 p.m. What time is the basketball game? Oh, the basketball game is at 10 a.m. So, all right, here we go. Listening comprehension. Listen to the conversations about events. Write the event. Conversation one. What time's the dinner? A quarter to eight. A quarter to eight? Thanks. Conversation two. What time's the dance? Eight o'clock? Eight? No, it's at nine o'clock. Oh, okay, thanks. Conversation three. What time's the concert? It's at half past three. Half past three? Are we late? No, it's only three o'clock. Conversation four. What time's the game? At noon. Don't be late. Okay. See you at noon. 
Conversation five. What time's the movie? A quarter after nine. A quarter after nine? Thanks. See you there. Conversation six. What time's the party? At midnight. Midnight. Wow. Now listen again. Okay. Do you have all the answers? Yes. I think that. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. So what is the first event and what is the time? The first one is dinner. I think that a uh, uh, quarter past eight, teacher. A quarter past eight? Ten. Yes. No. Quarter to eight. To eight? Quarter okay. to eight. All right. Let's, let's, okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to grab... Uh, let me get let me get a pencil real quick. What did you hear, uh, Luis? A uh, quarter to eight. To eight. A quarter to eight. Okay. Uh -huh. To eight. A oh, quarter, quarter before eight. eight. I heard that. Okay. But the evening is the dinner, right? What? The event is the dinner. Ah, see, yeah, yeah, dinner. Okay. I confused with the time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's let's check number one again. Page thirty-eight. <laughs> Exercise two. Listening comprehension. Listen to the conversations about events. Write the event. Conversation one. What time's the dinner? A quarter to eight. A quarter to eight? Thanks. What time is the dinner? Quarter before eight. Uh huh. A quarter, a quarter, to, eight. quarter to eight. Quarter uh -huh. before eight or seven forty-five. Good. Does mm -hmm. everybody agree? Yes. Seven forty-five. Okay. Yeah, seven forty-five. Okay. Okay. Yes. Right. Good. Seven forty-five. What is the second event? It's a dance. A dance? What time At is the dance? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Let's check. Sharp. Nine o'clock sharp. Conversation okay. two. What time's the dance? Eight o'clock? Eight? No, it's at nine o'clock. Oh, okay, thanks. What time is the dance? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Good. What about the third event? It's a concert. A concert? What time is a concert? Half past three. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's check. Session three. What time's the concert? It's at half past three. Half past three? Are we late? No, it's only three o'clock. Half past three. Are they late? Uh, no. no. Why not? Because, because it's three o'clock. Because it's three o'clock. Good. Mm -hmm. You can say the concert is, is at three thirty. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. What is the next event? Game. A game. A game. A game. A game. What time is the game? At, at noon. noon. Okay. What is another form right? to say noon? What? Twelve o'clock. Another form to say noon? Twelve p.m. 12 what? 12 p.m. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Yes, 12 p.m. Yes. Conversation four. What time's the game? At noon. Don't be late. Okay. See you at noon. Don't be late. So the game is at noon. What is the next event? Movie. A movie? A movie. Yes. What time is the movie? 9.15. Okay, let's check. All, all quarter after nine. Okay. All quarter after Six nine. Again. Five. What time's the movie? A quarter after nine. A quarter after nine? Thanks. See you there. What time is the movie? A quarter after nine. A quarter after nine. That is correct. Conversation six. What is event number six? A party. party. What time is the party? At midnight. 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 Okay. 
What time's the party? At midnight. Midnight? Wow. <laughs> Is she surprised? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's a midnight. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. what what time of the year do people usually start parties at 12 midnight? Christmas. December. Christmas and New Year's yes, Eve. Exactly. Christmas and New Year's Eve. That is correct. Yes. Now listen again. All right. Any questions about the listening? No? All right, so let's go to the book. I, I don't remember if the book is open. No, it's not. No, teacher, you didn't open, teacher. Yeah, not yet. All right. Let me take attendance before we continue doing something. You know, this thing that my wife gave me worked. <laughs> I feel the difference. Oh, good, good. The taste is, is not the nicest, but it's effective. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what counts the most. Okay, so let's check who's here and who's not. Alicia Hernandez, she's absent. Cesar Argueta, he's absent. Claudio Osorio, she's absent. Stephanie Martinez, absent. Uh, Jacqueline Martinez, absent. Jessica Escamilla, absent. Catherine Hueso, she's absent. Luis Martinez, present. Okay. Maria Esther Castillo, absent. Uh, Maria Gabriela Ramos, absent. Marta Alicia Monge, absent. Marta Araceli Rodríguez, absent. Antonia Rodríguez, present. Very good, thank you. Rick Hernandez. Present teacher. Good. Roselena Salgado. Present. Good. Uh, Rosa Maria George. She's absent. Uh, Sandra Carolina Monge. Uh, Vilma Sorto. Absent. And Janet Morales. Absent. So one, two, three, four. Osmin, did I mention you? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. So two, four, five. Two, four, five. Okay, good. All right. So continue. Acuerde de poner present en el chat. Okay. Double check. Double security. Right. Here. Give me a second. Okay. Um Yesterday, we were speaking about the time, and today we will be working with the time also. Can you see my book? Yes. What time yes. is it? Right now, teacher. In, in the book, what time is it? Ah. What time is it? It is uh, 1.08. Eight, eight one. One eight or 8 past 1. What time does the meeting start? One o'clock. No. Sure? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Eight o'clock. Eleven. Eleven. Ah, eleven. Sorry. Eleven o'clock. Okay. okay. What time do you arrive at work? Six forty-eight a.m. About. 
Ah, about What is the meaning of about? Alrededor. alrededor de. Yes, alrededor de. What time do employees leave? Seven, 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 you say the hour. You seen about around. Oh, if you don't have an exact time, you should say around or about. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part five. Okay. Complete the question using what time and do all those uh, uh -huh. practice the conversation why is a classmate with a classmate ok so primero le voy a dar minutos para que completen la los cinco ejercicios y después los pongo en parejas a practicar is it clear go ahead yes it
Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question for the number four. Uh huh. It says. I, I, okay. I don't know if I will use a uh, do or does because I can see that we had a plural noun. Okay. Restaurants. Restaurants. It's plural. Yeah. Yes. It's plural. Uh, I can use do. Exactly. Yes. Ah, okay. Because when Thank you say you, restaurants, you are making reference to the personal pronoun they. They. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. I am confused, teacher. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Okay, no problem. Let me know when you're finished. The city chair. Okay, one more minute, one more minute. Capucom. Okay, so let me make the, let me assign you to work in pairs. Recreate. Recreate. Number two. All right, here we go, people.
ein. Y el auxiliar que usted utilizó, que utilizaron sería das o do. Do, das. Das, sí. Das porque tenemos el pronombre it. Entonces sería what time does it. Ajá, das. sí es. Das it. Y usted okay. asumir lo tiene así. Este, la primera es donde dice it is a recruitment, así, ¿verdad? Ajá, esa. ¿Dónde está el Do they open? Ajá. They open around 6.30 or 8.05. Ok. Did you do because it's they, right? Yes. And do yes. is for they, we, and I. Yes. And does is for he, she, or he, it, she, right? yes. Ok. 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 They open, ok. Repeat again. Which one? The, the one, the, the first one. What time you arrive? Uh, do you? Solo lo que vamos a agregar es el what time y el do. What time do. Sí. Entonces, en este caso sería what time do you? Do you. Ajá, así es. Y de ahí la hora 8 y 15 sería 8.16. Ajá, así como decía que podemos decir eh, a quarter past 8. Eh, ajá, a quarter past 8 o eh, 8.15. Ajá, así como lo decía. Con ahora, sí. Puede ser 8.15 o a quarter past 8. 15 minutos han pasado de las 8 o eh, a quarter to 8. Una de esas dos. Ok. Sí. Con la número 3, ¿cómo la tienen? Hasta ahí me quedo. <ríe> ah, vaya. What time? Das, das, so das. Das, das, sí, what time das. Sí, así es, what time das. Así es, what time das. Estamos usando el das porque como nos estamos refiriendo al centro de copias y como el centro de copias, si reemplazamos el pronombre personal, sería it. Y el auxiliar de pronombre it, en este caso, sería das. Entonces, what time das, así como dice usted. What time does the photocopy center open? It open not. Podemos decir, eh, quiero ver en este caso, sería 10 before 7, creo que sí. Creo que sí sería 10 before 7 o 6.50. ¿Verdad que tiene que ser 10 before, eh, before 7? Porque 10 faltan para las 7, ¿va? O 10 sí. antes de las 7. Entonces sería... De, ajá. ¿Tú Al, o...? Before. Ajá. Sí, sería, porque como pasa el... Ajá, sería before, de, not to. Exacto. De, ajá, sí, así como dice usted que pasa y después está, pero antes de las... De, de las 8 y 30, creo, sí, por ahí. Sí. Quiero ver la otra, ¿por dónde íbamos? La 4. La 4, ¿verdad? Cuatro. Ajá. ¿Cómo la tiene usted ahí? What? What time do? What time do? What they, do? they open around 7.30 or 8.05. Okay. Teacher, we have a question. Ask me. For example, in the number two, the question is, let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. And the answer is, great. At what time do you arrive? Or that ad is not necessary. It's not necessary. You say, what time is the concert? What time does the bank open? You don't need to say at. But at is like, it's, it's a mistake? Uh, in that case, it could be considered a mistake because you say at when you're given the exact time. What time is the game? The game is at 3 p.m. What ah. time is the movie? The movie is at 5 p.m. So in this case, it's great. What time do you what time do you arrive? You are not saying 
something exactly, right? You say, what time do you arrive? So that, that is the way you should make that question um, concerning time. What time? What time? What time? And add this with your answer exactly. 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 Hour. Exactly. So you say, uh, Luis, don't forget, we have a meeting at 10 a.m. We 10. have a meeting at 10 a.m. Ah, okay. But in the example, the answer is, what time do you arrive at work? Yes. It mean, it's mean a... Uh, it's general. In general. Mm, right. I, I answer at about. Yes. Because maybe tomorrow mm -hmm. I arrive... Later uh, or in before. another time. Okay. Right. Another... Right. So you say about... When I, don't have, when, I, when I don't have an exact three hour. Exactly. And when you're giving an estimate, that's when people say about or around. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. So what time do you wake up on Sundays? Ah, Sundays. At around 9 a.m. At about 9 a.m. So you're giving an estimate. Got it? Yes, but you're using at right now. Yes. At a... So you, you don't use at when you are making a question. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we says, what time do you <clears throat> wake up on Saturdays? At about 7 a.m. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At around 10 a.m. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I have another question. Yes, ask me. And the uh, fourth one. Uh, the question is, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the, no, sorry, is the, uh, what's the, oh yeah, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, uh -huh. but, and the answer is, what time do, no, yeah, do yeah. restaurant close here? Yes. Because restaurant is plural. Is they. Uh -huh. But it's singular, it will say, yes, but uh, what time does the restaurant close here yes because you're right one you're right yes that s you have to use do because it's plural it's plural exactly okay so Arslena, you were right <laughs> yeah so imagine it's not plural it's it's singular you will say so what time does the restaurant close here mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes what time does res that, that restaurant. restaurant does the restaurant close the here? The restaurant or restaurant? Uh, Singular is restaurant. that, right? What time does the restaurant? When you're talking about one, you know which one you are making reference to. So you need to use definite article. What time does the restaurant close here? In number four, restaurants is very general. They're not making reference to any restaurants in particular. So uh, you don't use the. So yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Without, without exactly. the da. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is okay. right. Okay, any questions or comments? Mm -mm. All right, let's go back to the main session. Let's wait for the others to come back. Antonia, Oswin, and Rick. They're coming back in 25 seconds. Do you guys always wake up at the same time every day? Yes. What time is that? Uh, 4 30 in the morning. Really? Yeah. Oh, but you exercise. Yes. That's the reason why you wake up early. Uh huh. Now imagine that you didn't exercise. What time would you wake up? Oh, uh, seven o'clock, I think. Okay. What time do you start working? Eight o'clock. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Welcome back, people. Let me check this here. Antonia, do you have the answer for number one? There is a recruitment. Hola. Can you hear me? Uh, what is the answer for number one? What time does? Does it start? Yes. What time does it start? It starts at 9 a.m. Good. Luis, do you have number two? Yes. It's great. What time do you arrive? What time do you arrive? Good. Number three, Rose. Um, all the conversation? Yes. No. Yes, only if you the, want. Only, okay. Tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It opens at uh, 10 to 7. Excellent. Very good. Number four, Osmin, do you have number four? Is Osmin here? Let me see. Oh. Teacher, excuse me, teacher, tuve un problema acá que le expliqué al compañero que no pude copiar. Oh, okay. Uh, Rick, do you have number four? Yes, teacher. What's the answer? Wendy? Uh, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time do restaurants close here? Good. Uh, oh, around 7.25 p.m. or maybe we can say 25 past 7, right, teacher? Good. Good, yeah, 7.25 p.m. or 25 past 7. That is correct. Thank you, teacher. All right. Volunteer for number five, Amanda. Amanda is not here. No. Okay. Uh, Rose. Amanda, Amanda. Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And what time do they open? They open around 7.30 or 8.05. All right, good, excellent. Any questions or Yes, comments? I have a question. Yes, Rose. We have to mention uh, in that case, nine I am like it's right here. Yeah. Or only nine. Nine a.m. Okay. Nine a.m. Day fifteen a.m. Okay. Yeah, because remember that companies they have different schedules to work. Okay. Okay. In some companies they have trainings in the morning. Sometimes they have trainings in the afternoon. And in some companies, training takes time, uh, takes uh, place at nighttime. Okay. So yes, you have to be very specific when you say a.m. or p.m. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yes, do they have military hours, like 23, 24? Sure, sure. yes. It's like just a number. 13, exactly. 14, okay. Exactly, so if I say, Louis, what time is your lunch? Oh, I have my lunch at the 13 hours. At 13 hours. Uh -huh. Yep. Yes, you can say it. Okay. And how do you say, how do you say, what trade in a military? 815. It's military, same. military hours. Oh. Okay. It's after 12. Okay. 20, 20. 20. Uh -huh. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Exactly. Exactly. 15? Oh, okay. 15, 15. So, de, okay. de la 12 de la noche a la 12 del mediodía se mantiene uh -huh. normal. Uh -huh. So, the difference tarde. is from 12 p.m. Uh -huh. de la 12 a.m. Okay. That is the difference. All right. So, let's do this here. Okay, so name, activities, date, and time. So think about three activities that you do during the week. Three activities. Cualquiera de las tres actividades. El nombre de la actividad, la fecha y la hora. Y después así en grupo vamos a compartir una de esas. Go ahead. Uh, what we have to put in the, in the name? The uh, name. Your name, the name of the person. The name of oh, the person. Okay. Yes. Help me, please. Sure.
teacher an activity? Could it be take lunch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you want to include it, it can be an activity, sure. And go to the office. Take lunch and go to the office. Or return to the office. What? Take lunch and return to the office. Uh, teacher, uh -huh. each one has to be the same day. Excuse me? Each one has to be the same day. For example, not necessarily. No, no, not necessarily. Rosa, you were saying? No, okay. I think activity. We'll go to the office. No? Date? Uh, what time? No. What time? Date from Monday to Friday from okay. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah. Okay, that's one. You sure? Okay. okay. Let me know when you guys are ready.
All right, so this is what we will do. The three activities that you wrote, you have to put them in the chat. Tiene que poner las tres actividades que hizo, ponerlas en, I'm sorry, ponerlas en el chat para que todos las puedan ver. So let's go to the chat. Go to the gym, half past three, Monday, eight o'clock sharp, go home, Monday around 6 p.m. Remember, when you say go home, the preposition to is not necessary. So I said, what time do you go home? I go home at 5 p.m., all right? Go to the beach, Saturday at 7 a.m., Go to surf Saturday at 7.45. Have lunch at 12 o'clock. Go back to San Salvador at 1 p.m. So every Saturday morning, you're at the beach, Luis. Do you go alone or do you go with your family? Uh, with my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Good. Do you have children, Luis? No. No? All Not right. yet. <laughs> good. good. Very good. All right. Good work, Luis. Someone else, vamos a ver quién más. I have a meeting with my boss every day around 8 a.m. Good, what else? Wake me up from Monday to Friday at 5 a.m. Okay, wake me up. The correct form is to say, I wake, wake up. up, I wake up. Ahora, la oración está buena si usted dice, my son wakes me up from Monday through, so it will be good. Uh, wake yes, I, I, re I remember, I remember the song, wake, wake me up before you go. go. Oh yeah, by Wham. <laughs> wake yes. me up. Yes, when I, go. when I was writing, I remember, wake me up. Oh no, yeah. no wake it was me a up, good song. I wake up. It was a up. good song. I have yes. a question. Yes, Luis. When you say my sister wakes wake me up. With, with S or just wake me up? No, with S, yes. wakes me up. Okay. Because it's the third me. person singular. Yes. I take because phone calls 10 to past two. 10 past two. 10 past two. A la dos y diez. Is that what you wanted to say, Ricardo? I take phone calls. A la Hello, dos teacher. Yes. Sí. Yes. Okay. So you say 10 to two. Ah, 10 to. 10, 10 to 2. Or 10 past 2, pero no puede estar el 2 ah, en Estados okay. Unidos. Ok, well, the thank you. The two possibilities are good, just as long as that is the time that you want to mention. Ok. In this case, I will il, eh, eliminate, eh, eliminar, perdón, eh, eliminate. 2 or pass, right? Yeah, doesn't matter okay. which one. Ok. Antonio, you, do this. you have one activity? Osmin, do you have one activity? Okay. Okay, I cannot, teacher. o'clock. My breakfast at 20 past seven. Very good. Very good, Antonia. Okay. Yes, Osmin. Uh, yes, I have one activity. Me cayó el internet. Tuve un problema, pero eh, no sé si es correcto. I, I go to that chart Monday at 8 a.m. Okay. Put it in the chat. Okay, in this moment. Go ahead. All right, you guys are doing good. Okay. Mire, eh, aproveche y le voy a contar. Yo llevo ya una cantidad algo considerable de trabajar con inglés corporativo y esta es la primera clase eh, donde hay mucha deserción y no me explico ¿Por, ¿Por qué razones? Pues, entonces, usted tiene que verlo del lado positivo y si la clase es pequeña, es más personalizada. So, hay que aprovechar la asistencia. O sea, esa es la clase que más alumnos se han ido de las que ha tenido. Sí, ya. Y, y lo raro que en básico uno, porque en básico uno la gente viene bien emocionada y todo, y, y siempre sale una o dos personas al final, pero siempre la clase termina con 18 personas mínimo. 
but this time is very different. I don't understand why. La pandemia, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> there are only five, right? No. Today it's only five. Yeah. No. Okay, my time to work. Sometimes, sometimes uh -huh. I I think that I'm quite, quite, quite. You try. No, what do you say? Renunciar. <laughs> oh, quit. 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 <laughs> sometimes I think I quit, oh. but uh -huh. no, no, no. no. It's, and not, remember, it's not a good idea. Yeah, la razón. <clears throat> por la sometimes que I feel so, I feel so tired. Yeah. And I say, oh, I have to do this. Exactly. I have to do that. But no. Exactly. No, 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 no. <laughs> y, y, y si usted se fija, la razón por la que somos adultos y hasta ahorita estamos aprendiendo es porque por siempre hubieron uh, obstáculos, razones, algunas ocasiones excusas para no estudiar el inglés, pero ustedes saben mejor que, que, que nadie que las oportunidades se le abren más a la gente que es bilingüe, pues. Entonces, usted tiene su profesión, su oficio, eh, puede aspirar a algo mejor siendo bilingüe. Teacher, ah, este, yes, sir. un comentario nada más yes. respecto a la, a la deserción de, de, yes, de, de los estudiantes. Yes, sir. Eh, fíjese que, que eh, algún comentario que escuché de que que como el, el, el módulo es principiante, ¿verdad? Ya. Yep. Y entonces parece ser de que hay bastantes personas que, que ya hablan bastante el inglés, gracias a Dios por eso. Y sí. quizás hay un poco de frustración, pienso yo, porque todos pensamos, en, bueno, en mi caso personal, pensamos que com comenzaríamos de ABC y todo eso, sí. como principiante. ¿verdad? Tal vez sea eso, o solo una, una, un comentario. Sí, no, no, no. no. Y, y, y si ustedes se fijan, y, y estoy de acuerdo con usted, porque hay como cinco de ustedes que ya vienen bien fogueados. Eh, sin embargo, no me puedo salir del libro. Es obligación sí, seguir no, todas no. las páginas del... del. Entonces, el, el reto es para los que eh, les cuesta un poquito más, pues, eh, decir, bueno, sí. pues tengo que estar, tengo que ponerme las pilas para estar con el... con, con, con la... ¿Cómo se dice? Con la velocidad de, de, de la clase. Sí, correcto. Eso sí lo entiendo. Y por eso me estoy forzando acá, teacher. Ya, yeah. no, that's good. Sí, ok. Antonia. Teacher, consulta. Eh, solo en la noche hay clases. No hay eh, sábados. No. Eh, hay clases de 8 a 10 de la noche. Y hay... Tienen otros programas siempre inglés corporativo donde es de 8 a 9 es una hora y de 9 a 10 solamente es una hora y si no me equivoco también tienen clases a la una de la tarde 1 p.m. no sé si es este mismo si es la otra versión pero eh, están las opciones de 8 a 9 y de 9 a 10 es solamente una hora y creo que una hora a esta parte del día creo que es un poco más flexible sí. más llevadero que dos horas Sentado. Sí, yo creo que por eso es que muchos este, han, han desertado porque por el tiempo, es bastante tiempo el que hay que estar yeah, acá. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Sí, no, y, y tengo entendido que Inglés Corporativo pues les, les, les reitera, les, les, sí. les asegura sí. de que está seguro que va a poder de 8 a 10 para, sí, entonces la gente tiene que Exacto. someterse a lo que, a lo que, a lo que se han comprometido, pero Everybody's a different case. Everybody's a different case. Yep. Okay, vamos a ver la, la de Antonia. My time to work at 8 a.m. My time to work is at 8 a.m. o'clock. Okay. Go to church Monday at 8. Go to church Monday at 8 a.m. Yeah. Ok, usted dice, yo voy a la iglesia. Y that, yes. eso es información en general. Ahora, yeah. si usted dice, yo voy a la iglesia que está en el centro de Lourdes, entonces ahí usted necesita el artículo da. I go to the church downtown Lourdes at Monday 8 a.m. Ok. Pero como es, es, es general la información que usted está dando, no hay necesidad de ocupar esta cuestión. ¿Cómo se llama esa cuestión que acabo de escribir? 
El artículo determinado. Exacto. El artículo, ah, claro. el artículo de, definido. Definite article. Definido. Okay. Entonces, el nombre es literal. ¿Qué entiende usted por definido? Definido, este, claro. Este, claro, específico. concreto, directo. Específico. Específico. Entonces, específico. cuando usted dice, yo voy a la iglesia que está en tal lugar, está hablando de una en particular, entonces ahí sí lo ocupa. Pero si la información ah, ya, ya. es general, ah, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, no lo necesita. En el caso, solo diría, perdón, solo diría, go to church Monday 8. Yes, I go to church on Monday at 8. Pero ese on Monday, el on es optional, es opcional. At 8. A las 8. At 8. Ok. Yep. All right. when I say, and when I say go to supermarket on Saturday at at around, go to the supermarket. Yes, at same around. Thing. Same thing. At around five thirty. That is good. At around. Because at around at about. Because I can go. <laughs> uh, no, because maybe I go at six p.m. It's okay that I right, do, I don't right. Know. Yes. So when okay. you're giving an estimate, you can say ah, okay. at around. At around. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Or and, at about. I know about. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. At around, at about. Any questions? Questions or comments? No? Okay, so that is the, the activity that we had. So look at number three. When is your next meeting? What time do you arrive to work? And when are your next vacation? Uh, teacher meeting is not with double E. Uh, yes. Good observation. Meeting is with double E. Yeah. Y en la número tres también hay una observación. What is the observation? What time did you write to when? Work? At work. When are you? At when are work? your next vacation? It's where, right? No, when is okay. Oh, yeah. When is? Uh -huh. When is? When is? When is your oh, next when vacation? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, el libro tiene, tiene, tiene errores que lo programaron bien, pero lo imprimieron y la hora de imprimir se hizo, se desfiguró, no sé qué fue lo que pasó, pero sí tiene observaciones el libro. And the second is, is correct. What time do you arrive to work? Yeah, no, what time do you arrive work. to work? At or work? at work, no. what time do you arrive at, at work? At sure. Uh, and and that's a good observation. En muchas ocasiones, um, usted puede ocupar diferentes prepositions. In, on, at, y siempre se va a mantener el mismo, um, el mismo mensaje. Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. In, in the number three, say, when are your next vacation? When uh, is, when is your next vacation? Are no, are no is correct. No, because okay. are is for plural. Vacation. Ah, when, yeah. Si, si, si al final dice vacation. Vacations. Entonces, so sí, when is correct. your next are. vacation? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Si sí, entiendo. Si fuera exactly. plural, si explica are. Yeah. When is your next vacation? Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. All right, good. Any questions or comments? No, teacher. So, in what example we use are in the number three? When are they? No. When are your next vacations? Vacations will be plural. So, aquí lo puede arreglar de dos maneras. Pone vacación en plural. O lo deja tal como está ahí, pero tiene que poner is en vez de is are. Vacation. Ah, okay, okay. When is your next vacation? Uh -huh. Any questions or comments, people? No? No, no. no. Okay, so we will stop here. Thank you very much for your time. Um, el próximo viernes terminamos. Sea, sea paciente uh, para... Si siente que está muy cansado dos horas, está la opción de 8 a 9 o de 9 a 10, si usted desea. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. Good, good, night. Good, night. Bye -bye. good evening, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.